This pencil drawing took me over 250 hours to complete. That is amazing. Oh my god, as an amateur, like, painter? Oh, this is... Uh, and this is pencil. You tell me this is pencil. I love this. I love the reflections in the court. I love the detail in the musculature. I love how you can even kind of make out the faces of the people on the second row of bleachers. Everything about this oozes of skill and ability, and you belong here. You belong on this subreddit. Hello everybody and welcome to Calvis, my name is Lumo and today we are looking at r slash next effing level, a subreddit dedicated to things that go above and beyond the Call of Duty to become the best things that they can possibly be. The things that are the creme de la creme, creme, things that become the creme de la creme of what they are. Much like the pencil drawing before, let's just jump right into it. OP's life of a man, how it started, in the slums, how it's going, Harvard University, oh you love to see it, you love to see it. Hard work pays off. I will say this every single time I get a chance to. Hard work pays off. I can only imagine the amount of hours and the amount of struggle and pain that went into getting to this position, and I genuinely love the fact that this dude got there. I love that. I love that so much. It fills me with joy. <laughs> I love the top two comments. Mine's the exact opposite. You were raised in Harvard? <laughs> This happened today in New Zealand. No social distancing needed. No masks required. Yeah, I think they had like 14 cases from the second wave, and I think that's genuinely amazing. Like, they went hard on trying to get rid of this thing, and it's because they were able to stick to everything as a society. And I said the funny society word, but truly that is what ended up working. They, everyone just took the same preventative measures, and the government acted super fast, and apparently it just, it just works. It just works. You love to see it. A sunrise time-lapse photo I took of LA. You can tell it, um, mm, is that really LA though? Because the road, you can see some gaps where the lights didn't fill in with the long exposures. And you know, if it's not LA if the roads aren't literally a river of traffic lights. God, this is genuinely beautiful. I am an absolute fan of this. Like this is fantastic. I want to see LA one day, be it as a YouTuber or just as like a tourist. I want to go to LA one day. I don't want to stay there. Why would you ever want to stay there? But I want to go there one day. It just seems like a neat city. You know what I mean? I want to see the angels. Yeah, I managed to get Doom running entirely by potatoes. My god. The, Doom is literally on every- Doom is even on potatoes. What? How, okay, no, I know how. If potatoes can sustain GLaDOS, potatoes can sustain Doom. That is just bonkers though, like... He could, he could sneak this in the class and play Doom and the teachers would have no idea what he's doing! They'd be too distracted by the field of rotting potatoes! <laughs> uh, it's bonkers to me that we can have, like, ground fruit. Potato's a vegetable, it's not a fruit, but either way, it's crazy to think we can have roots from the ground just... powering things. I think that's neat. Really is next effing level stuff. He's a man of skill, skill, and sheer freaking skills. Oh my god, he made a bow gun, a Yu Gi Oh dual deck. Oh my god, a chainsaw. <laughs> Another chainsaw. More like a chain lance, chainsaw, dinosaur. Oh my, a playing card launcher. A killer kill scissor blade. Completely articulated. What's this? He made a th giant throwing star, and then he made Reg's pickaxe? Sorry, Rinko, whatever, and then- oh, sword? Yo-yo! It's- it's a yo-yo stick! This is insane! Oh, okay, okay, now I get why it's a yo-yo stick. That's freaking cool, my dude. Can someone teach me how to do that trick with the stick? These are all amazing, and I really like them. I want to do that stick trick with, like, cosplay props. Hold on. That was amazing. That was fantastic. I, I have nothing else to say about that. That's amazing. That is amazing. And I still want to learn how to do that cool trick with the strings. Guy traveled 17 miles to get free food to fill him for a week. Times is tough, so when I heard Wendy's was giving out free four-piece nugs today, I knew I had to hustle. I had every day in Wendy's twice within 17 miles across two states. That took five hours, but now we eaten free for a week. What it do? <laughs> and then Wendy's. That's just straight up impressive, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's dedication. That's a lot of dedication, and I love the fact that, like, you can see the GPS just Wendy's, 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 Wendy's. 
Honestly, though, that's fantastic, and I'm glad that they, uh, I'm glad they got food to survive the week. I really want chicken nuggets now. God, do I want chicken nuggets now. All. Oh. Successfully donated a kidney to my sister who's been fighting lupus. That is some next effing level kindness. I mean, we'd all do it for family. Like, you know, just because, you know, we want to help our family most of the time. But, man, that's, that's nuts. Now you two share something. A kidney. <laughs> you have at least one thing in common. God, that's, that's such a good, that's a good human move right there. That's a good human move. Beats putting clean me on it. Th okay. Okay, that's some bonkers frickin' dust art. Oh my god, my ex used to just write uwu on my car when it was dirty. And I, I, I do not live in a place with a lot of roads, so, you know, it's always dirty, so I always had uwu on my car. I wish she would have drawn this instead, this is beautiful. A reminder that humans are always embroiled in conflict, but also we are incredibly artistic. I like that they even got the little dust explosion in the back. I love everything about this, there's so much to love here. Keanu Reeves is awesome. Keanu Reeves was on a flight from San Francisco to LA on Saturday, and the plane had to land in Bakersfield, a hundred miles short of LA because of a mechanical issue. Instead of taking off like a typical celebrity, he organized a van to take them the rest of the way. He entertained the other passengers during the two hour drive by reading facts about Bakersfield, playing country music on his phone, and saying goodbye to passengers as they were dropped off. The bad day was documented on Twitter. Life is weird, try not to die on an airplane, but if you almost do, do it with Keanu Reeves. I'm convinced that Keanu just exists. I think he's a cryptid. He's like a good celebrity. He's he's not like a he's not a, a, a blue check mark celebrity. He's just like a good dude, and I kind of like it. I genuinely enjoy the fact that Keanu Reeves is actually just like a cool guy. If I ever get there, if I ever get there with YouTube, I wanna be like Keanu Reeves. I wanna be Keanu Reeves when I grow up. I made this from nails and threads only. Are you a wizard? I think you're a wizard. How the hell? What the hell? Who the hell? That's amazing. I, like, you can see all the connecting lines, and it textures this image in such a cool way. And, like, they played with the actual physical shadows of the threads. Oh, it's, oh, it's so cool. I am such a sucker for alternative, like, art forms. This is, this is genuinely beautiful. Like, I, I love this. I genuinely love this. This is so cool. 360 degree painted sphere by Daisuke Samjia. That's super cool. If anyone is under- Wait, hold on. Okay, my mind stopped for a second. The perspective was updating as he was turning it and it confused me. If anyone's questioning what skyboxes look like in video games, this is it. This is what skyboxes look like in video games. This is what every Super Monkey Ball level is enshrouded in. This is jet. Like, this is bonkers. This is like so impressive. I'm sorry. Again, alternate art forms. I I love this. Oh god, this is so cool. I I hate it because like the perspective is properly shifting as he's changing the ball. I question what this would look like completely unwrapped. I want to see what this looks like completely unwrapped. I need to know. This is what an 800 year old bonsai looks like. That's insane that someone kept it along for that long. well, that multiple people kept it along for that live. If someone, if there's one caretaker of this tree, I want to meet them, because they're over 800 years old. At least 816, I'd say. But, yeah, no, that's, that's nuts. That's nuts, but you want to know what I hate? It reminds me of that dude with the world's longest toenails, because this is roughly what his feet looked like, and I hated it. I despised it. Every iota of it filled me with pain and torture, and I'm sharing that with you today. Enjoy the tree, and remember, it totally doesn't look like diseased toenails. Playing Mario Kart on the super screen, because it's the last day before we closed. That is something on my bucket list. I've always wanted to do this. I, I think it's cool. It's such a waste of energy. Like, up and down. This is just a waste of energy. And you know what? I'm here for it. It's a good waste of energy. It's a fantastic waste of energy. I don't know, something about this just fills me with a primal childlike joy and I love it. It just fills me with happiness. I knew a buddy, like I, I, a buddy of a buddy who basically had a theater in his house and we used to play rock band on it like all the time and it wasn't, you know, this big but it was still a super cool experience that I hope to replicate myself one day. Athlete carried a disabled biology student named Elephatera to the top of Mount Olympus, her dream. That is so nice. That is genuine human kindness, and it makes my Kokoro go okie dokie. This, ah, oh, this is so sweet. 
This is so genuinely pure and wholesome. Oh, we're ending this video on a good note, I think. I think we're doing it. Oh, this is so good. Absolute stud. Hard enough getting my butt up a 3,500 foot mountain. Thanks, Top Comet. Very cool. I thought you were saying that because he did that, he could go up your butt, but now I understand. You were saying it's hard for you to move. I get that. School gatekeeper in Morocco fixed and painted every broken classroom furniture during quarantine. That's how you deal with budget cuts in unfortunate situations. You make something out of it. Oh, man, I can't imagine how long that took. Dude's got the jawline of a god and the productivity of also a god. Dude's just a god, straight up and down. What can the student say except, you know, you're welcome. Like, this is... Or rather, thank you. I, I messed up the Moana reference and I'm leaving this cut in. Why am I leaving it in? To suffer. But no, this is genuinely fantastic. I... Oh, God, I love this. This, this fills my heart with joy and I hope the kids appreciate it. I hope the kids appreciate it. And that's all the time we have here today on Calvus. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and maybe share it with a friend who could use some inspiration to get to that next effing level. If you want more r slash next effing level, there'll be another one popping up in just a couple of seconds, but until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Calvus video. Have a great rest of your day.